which power mode we should choose in Windows 11 for the 9950X 3D CPU. Now in Windows, by default, it's going to be on balanced. As you can see here, I have best power efficiency, balance, and best performance. Now, if you bought, for example, either the uh, AMD Ryzen 9 uh, 7950X3D, uh, any successor, the 9950X3D, the one that I actually have, these uh, CPUs are unique because they have dual CCD. So two CCDs, one CCD having AMD's 3D vCache for gaming and the other being high frequency CCD for other tasks. For the vast majority of users, especially those who game on their computer, the balanced power plan is the recommended choice. Now, I will break it down for you so you can understand exactly why. So AMD, in partnership with Microsoft, has a sophisticated uh, scheduler designed to work with these asymmetrical CPUs. The scheduler's job is to recognize which core are best suited for a given workload and assign the task accordingly. For gaming, the scheduler will prioritize putting the gaming workload on the CCD with the 3D vCache. This is because the massive L3 cache on those cores provides significant performance boosting games. Now, for productivity and multi-threaded tasks, uh, so for basically applications that can use all cores like video editing, rendering, or compiling code, this schedule will utilize both CCDs to maximize performance. Now, the base power plan allows the intelligence scheduling to function as intended. It enables core parking. It's a feature basically where the OS can put unused cores into low power state. And this is crucial for this type of uh, CPUs uh, as it helps uh, to efficiently park the non-gaming cores, ensuring that the gaming workloads stayed on the optimal vCache cores. Now, while it might seem that it might be intuitive uh, to use the high performance plan for high-end CPUs, it can actually hurt performance in certain scenarios with this type of processors. For example, the high performance plan often disables core parking. This can lead to the OS spreading the gaming workload across both CCDs, including the non-vCache cores. Now, when a game's main thread is assigned to a high-frequency non-vCache core, you may see a drop in performance, particularly in 1% and 0.1 low frame rates, leading to a less smooth gaming experience. Now, since all cores are kept active and at a high clock speed, the CPU will consume more power and generate more heat, even when idle or under light loads. So in summary, for most users, especially gamers, use the balanced power plan and make sure you have the latest AMD chipset drivers installed as well, as they can include necessary optimizations for the CPU smart scheduling. For purely productive focus rig, the high performance or even AMD specific high performance power plan, if it's installed with the drivers, might be beneficial for very small number of all core multi-threaded workloads. However, the performance gains are often minimal and come with the trade-off of higher power consumption and temperature. Now, the AMD Ryzen 9 7950XVD or 9950XVD um, is designed to be set and forget CPU in this regard. So, trust the sophisticated hardware and software optimization that AMD has built in and let the balanced power plan do its job. Thanks for watching.